Wolfgang's Vault is home of the largest collection of concert posters in the world. Dating back to the 1960s to the present day, it includes thousands of poster artists. And much like fine art, these posters have become wonderful investments, which have only increased over time. This is BG75, one of Bonnie McLean's best posters. The first printing poster was done before the concert. It included the printing credits on the poster. When the second printing happened, they took the printing credits off the poster and actually have a small flaw um, in the peacock's white tail. There's a blue scratch. When they printed the third printing of the poster, only a year and a half later, they kept the same scratch in the tail and removed the printer's credits, but it was actually printed on a glossy paper compared to a more of a matte stock. Rick Griffin, Wes Wilson, Victor Moscoso, Stanley Mouse, and Alton Kelly are known as the Big Five poster artists. They're given the credit for starting the poster art movement of the 1960s. It was their designs that made the Fillmore and Avalon ballrooms the mecca of live music. Today, the originals are worth thousands of dollars, while the later printings are much more affordable. This poster is called BG25. It's for a concert at the Fillmore in August of 1966. It features a beautiful Grace Slick while she was with the Great Society, before she was with the Jefferson Airplane. And this is the poster's second printing. This was done after the concert and looks almost exactly alike. The only way to tell the difference between the two posters is under black light, as the white in the original printing really comes alive. The first printing of this poster is $2,500, while the second printing is $575. A pretty large difference when they look this similar. You can find all these posters and thousands more here at WolfgangsVault.com.